Hey guys, so I'm going to show you inside my classroom today, my classroom cleanup video. There's a lot of sped up, clean with me kind of things in there. And um, I still have a lot to do, like disinfecting and taking stuff off the walls and all that stuff. But for the most part, we're just getting everything kind of condensed and cleaned up. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please subscribe. And I, I did that because I, I want to put an insert in there, like subscribe, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm trying. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, thank you for watching. <laughs> Okay, so um, what we had at first was they walked in through the door, they would come in and they would check in and um, so they would check in if they're going to eat hot lunch or if they brought their lunch and just says, welcome to class, find your name. And this is funny because this is one of my students and he, um, we lost his little avatar that he made for our Halloween window display and we eventually found it. So now he just bounces around the classroom. I have all their birthdays here and then I have a little quote from Winnie the Pooh. Here's where I would put up like anything for social studies or history. And then I would just kind of put stuff that we were going over, like what would weigh tons, pounds, you know, just little notes there. Um, and then here I have their Dr. Seuss writing. They were doing adjectives here. Just practicing adjectives for Dr. Seuss week. Here is my AR mountain. And um, they would climb this mountain till they got to 100% each trimester. And then when they got to 100%, they would get a homework pass. And then on my shelves here, I have my leveled readers. I have some reading uh, games. I have a lot of different like things that I use for games and center. This was our math multiplication tracker, just tracking which multiplication facts they know. Um, I got this uh, idea for some from somebody on Instagram, the ice cream party uh, block blackout thing. Here is our writing strategy, how to write like Jane. Jane Schaefer is the program we use. And then this was, um, you know, the method that everyone has hanging in their classroom. I also wrote a wrap for how to do Jane Schaefer. So I have that hanging there. Our reading area and the kids would, this is not, I mean, they would read in this area, but mainly they work all around the classroom um, at all points in time. Honestly, we don't really use our desks in this class, but next year I'm sure that's gonna change with the way that we have to, you know, I think I'm gonna have them sitting like individually, which really sucks because I like them doing a lot of group work, but we gotta give them that physical spacing. Um, so we have my books here, um, and these I just got at five below. And then I got these gaming chairs, just kind of ones I had, and then some camping chairs. This is my reading group table. By the way, we're going backwards. Okay, so up here, I just have some math vocabulary. And over here is their like religious altar. This is for after school religion. And then this is like their religion board for display. This is where I would keep all the stuff that my students gave me over the school year. And I just pin it to the wall. And then here is my desk. I have my boards divided up for ELA so I can put their essential question here. There's spelling words here, vocabulary cards in here, and I can go over all this stuff. I also have our multiplication table hanging just because I thought it was important to have it right in the front and not over here on the back where my math board is. Um, and then over here I have my smart board and my just our daily schedule will go over here with our homework listed. Jobs and a blank space that I use sometimes when I need to write on the whiteboard. Um, over here, we have a small little table that they like to sit at with these stools. Um, I have my turn in bin and some other bins that hold their stuff for their groups. We have an AR party. So anytime they reach that 100%, they get invited to the AR party. And yeah, I have some puzzles up here. This is my brain pop so they can do a few things. And then I have my light. That's it. And then I have some stuff on this back counter. It's all kind of random. And then I have this um, series of shelves and, or sorry, cabinets that have stuff in it. This I would like to show you, it is my cliffhanger game and we play this for spelling. So I would divide the class into two teams. I have two yodeling men here. I put them down at one and then the two teams would work to spell a word. And if they got it wrong, the amount of people that got it wrong on this team would have to go up that many spaces as well as the other team having to go up that many spaces and whoever gets to the top first uh, falls off and then you lose cliffhanger. It's really fun and you can put on like yodeling music. It's a game from um, 
the price is right. So I'm gonna get started cleaning this all up and that's it, my first classroom coming down. So I'm gonna start by taking down all this stuff on the walls. Looks like you're changing at all. Well, why didn't you, why didn't you call? to do in this closet but right now I'm just gonna grab my ladder out so this ladder is great make sure you always have a ladder in your classroom <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of all over the place. I mean, who stays in one place, right? So taking all these glue sticks, I'm kind of separating the stuff one spot to the next just so I can go through everything. Kind of just pile it up and put it in the specific bin that it belongs in, which you can see these bins need to be organized. I mean, look at this crazy. Do you miss me at all? about the things we used to do no you couldn't stand tall so why didn't you why didn't you call so many years gone by anybody else like this the moment you have to get rid of pencils you're like <laughs> you know how hard it is to keep pencils you know you know how hard it is to keep pencils throughout the year they disappear like crazy um so we do have some highlighters here i'm gonna keep all my old highlighters in my highlighter bin because sometimes we run out. I do have to wipe all of these down, so. I need a space for my dry erase markers, so I'm gonna grab this little bin. And we can use this for the dry erase markers. So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air Inexplicable, I can feel it in the air Is it just me or does anybody else love seeing their stuff perfectly separated into nice neat bins? <laughs> my students sifted through their stuff and we actually started putting it in bins. We no longer use our desks as a means of keeping our actual school stuff in. So they're just a huge mess and I'm gonna go through and get anything personal out and then put it in some bins and have it at the door so when they bring their materials back from distance learning, they can just take what's theirs and, and go. Well, why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air. All right, so progress so far. All desks are cleaned out. Um, the wall has everything removed. Um, I'm going to take this off because I'm not going to have it there next year. I'm finally going to get to what I said I was going to start off. 
which is this. So okay, this looks so bare. I mean, look at that. So, so bare. Um, okay, so now we're coming over here and I'm gonna get started on taking all of this down. So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Push all these desks over there, roll up my carpet We stopped and didn't I've put away a lot of things. I've gotten things off the floor. So the wall's blank. These are all the desks I, books I found in desks, so I need to put them all back away on the shelf. Um, this is like stuff that I need to put away when I get this cabinet cleared out, which is going to be Friday probably. I have my desk stacked. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I have um, just some stuff over there. I still have to get up there and take off the stuff on the windows, so I gotta do that Friday. I have a pile of trash I need to get rid of. I enjoyed that video. I'm sorry it ended abruptly, but I had literally no other footage and I had to get out of there. I can only be on campus for two hours. So I got all that done in two hours. I know it maybe didn't look like a lot, but I got a lot of it done. I still have to take all the stuff off the wall, but for the most part, I am pretty much done. So I hope you enjoyed that video and stay tuned for my next one. Um, I hope you have a great day.